Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a while, but let's not ponder on the fact it's been a while. Let's share with you some of my creations that I've been making. I did do, just prior to December, a video regarding the fact that I'm really embracing the fact of slow fashion and recycling. I've always been that way inclined. Use what you've got. Well, I have got stacks and stacks of stamps in my possession. Not only do I have lots of stamps, I also have amazing array of books. Now, it's time to sort of look, I don't know, do you buy magazines? If you buy magazines, eventually you're going to have a few pages that do not necessarily inspire you. And I have been looking at ways of repurposing what I've got in my collection. So the first thing I did was look at some of my books I've got and started out pulling out book pages. And I thought, I am absolutely dreadful for journaling. We find it sometimes a fear. We get these beautiful journals and we're not too sure how we're going to actually make marks in the actual work that's been completed and I'm going to share with you this one here for this is my example now this is a book page nothing more it has had a lot of stamping which I think is fabulous I think I neglect the fact that I've got all these old wooden stamps and now they've gone on to the cling wrap ones admittedly I've got the book page here. Now, this is a shabby chick book page. So that inspires me to carry on. And I start doing some journaling. I've used some stickers. I've used some good old fashioned gesso. You will see here that this actually dates back to um, the beginning of January. As I open it up, you'll see more little things that I put over on my work. You can flip it over. And this really is just a book page that I have used. And you can see the chairs in the background. You can see my stamping. And I feel that I'm not wasting a any of my work, any sort of like, I'm not concerned about writing at all on this book page. And we've turned it into a very nice little book, just a little mini journal. It's progressed from there. I stuck with the shabby chick, but what I done was I also had some lovely pieces of craft paper in my collection. So on images, I wasn't too sure how I was going to cover up if I was going to use gesso. I also shared with the fact that you can actually just use a glue stick and cut up some of your cardstock and cover some of the images, if you like, that it comes on your book pages. Lots and lots more stamping. This one is pretty interesting because it has lots of pockets, lots of tuck spaces. You flip it over and there is just lots of wealth of places to do more journaling. And it really is. I have just been inspired to use what I've got in my collection. And such a vast array. I have some pages from Daphne's diary. I've got this really old book page. This is a book that dates back to the 18, uh, to the 1900s. Let's not go too far afield here. Um, I think it's 1890s, if I remember correctly. And I've just gessoed over it, stamped. I've had great fun getting my colouring pencils out and just literally adding colour. Now, this is a waiting wonderful images of journaling and I have just taken advantage of what I've got in my collection. I think sometimes I have definitely gathered so much now in my collection that I forget what I actually physically have. I've moved so far away um, and I'm, I'm very disappointed that I'm not using what I've got. And these are still all book pages. As you can see, 
there are stamps there for notes and I thought if I do a day workshop or if I go away for a little weekend this is the type of thing that I feel that I can put little scribbles, drawings, information on and I think I'll be more than chuffed to monkeys to have this in my collection because time is valuable. I don't have now the opportunity um, to spend um, as many hours on my craft work as I have done in the past. I'm now currently working six days a week. I am also aware that I have um, sadly people that are unwell in my family and they also need my time and attention and this is where I am putting my time and effort but we all need a little bit of crafting time in our lives and this has just been such a fun way of doing something. I've used also little post-it notes there's no reason why you can't add post-it notes we've got different varieties of uh, Tim Holtz distressing so not everything is in black I just wanted to mix it up completely I've got little tags in the front we've got so many possibilities just as I've stamped on here endless such a variety of things I have been up to and you can see we've got a cup of tea warms the soul like a good friend and I've used um, some whispers uh, or sugarloaf um, felt tip pens in some respects I've also used traditional colouring pencils but you can see that I folded in varieties of ways made little tuck spots I've used some of I've use some of my um why does it escape me my um gorgeous girl stamps as well which i've had in my collection they hadn't even been stamped they've just been sitting there with their cellophane on waiting to for this moment to be used and i thought if you've got pen pals out there what a wonderful idea to send these um, to your pen pals. I will, if people ask, make a little tutorial about how I've made these individual little page flips. I don't know what to call them. Maybe you can uh, name them for me. I mean, when I first started in the journaling world, I started off by making flip books. It actually pushed, my, um, pushed me to think of what I had in my collection and uh, also made me think about tags, tuck spots, what, how you could fold your actual pieces of paper and um, what you I could use be it magazine pages to cover my work so as you can see here this is a page from Daphne's diary and I just couldn't resist I just love with spring approaching that floral appearance and then if you turn it over there's plenty of spaces for journaling I've even done little corner pockets here as tuck spots so we can put a tag in lots and lots of stamping throughout really really trying to embrace what I've got I don't want waste this year I really really want to really use what I have in my collection and I don't think even by the end of the year I will have used all of my stamps that I have and that is the task that I have set myself this particular year and I've just thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed myself one afternoon each week trying to get out some of my crafting stuff clearing space it gives me the the mind space that I need the tranquility to relax which I think in this modern age where everything is so fast paced I think we're missing a trick and guys you already know you're crafting basically in some respects to keep yourself sane so all in all I have pretty much come into my very very last one now and I hope that you guys find this of some inspiration to you and that you can tackle and take on a little bit of journaling 
take advantage of some of your stamps you have in your collection and then just try and upcycle some of your work so all in all what a variety lots of different pages lots of different techniques here but pretty much it has kept me well and truly busy over the long weekends whilst the winter weather has set in but I have thoroughly loved going through my lovely stash of stamps and revisiting my colouring pencils and thank you guys I hope to catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.